All right, guys, we're gonna give you guys three ways to finish your opponent in the mounted position when he's made the mistake of hugging my hips, all right? A lot of times, opponents will do that when you're putting a lot of pressure on them, all right? So I've achieved the mount, and I'm dropping low into my pressure type position, and he decides that he wants to protect himself by hugging onto my hips, all right? So I'm flat on the ground. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach back and find his elbow. So one hand here to keep my base, I'm gonna reach back and I'm gonna find his elbow. All right, on that same side, I'm gonna pick him up and step up with my foot. So push my hand on the ground, pick up, and step up with my foot. Now I'm gonna put my weight back on top of him. I'm gonna keep this foot to the flat of the floor here. Now I'm looking to trap his arm. So I'm gonna put this hand on the elbow on this side, and I'm gonna slide my hand back, and I'm gonna be looking for his wrist back here. So as I got his wrist back here, I'm gonna push it right towards my ankle. So I'm going from here, to there and I'm gonna get my tap on the Kimura lock, all right? So a lot of times he'll grab the back of my, my gi right here or my belt and he'll look, prevent me from doing that. So in that case, I can't get his hand out. I'm gonna try to transfer into my Gogo Plata and Mono Plata setup. So this hand now, or this foot will pass over the head and as this foot passes over the head, I'm looking to trap his chin. If I can't clear his chin, that's okay. I'm gonna sit down in it anyway. So I'm gonna put this hand on the elbow Put my hand on the mat and let my weight drop, all right? As my weight drops, I'm looking to put my foot below his chin and pull his face towards me, all right? I'm looking to hook the back of his head and drive my foot in and pull his head up and I'll get my go-go claw to finish, all right? That's not all. If he's tucking his chin, blocking my foot, not allowing me to finish the go-go plata, it is, it is a very difficult thing to finish. I'm gonna go for my Mona plata, right? So I'm gonna slide back here, I'm on my elbow. I'm gonna hug his elbow into my hips and I'm gonna rotate my hips underneath him like a rocking chair, right? So rocking chair movement, I'm gonna drive my hips in, pull his shoulder up, okay? And that's gonna be your Mona plata finish, all right? So that's three ways to finish your opponent when they grab your hips in the mounted position, all right? All right guys, two other finishes that you can get on your opponent from the mounted position when they hug your waist is the omoplata and the triangle setup. They kind of work hand in hand with each other, okay? So I've achieved the mounted position. I've laid down, my opponent's made the mistake of trying to hug my waist. I'm gonna reach back and I'm gonna grab that elbow and I'm gonna start to step up. So I step my foot up and I'm gonna hug that elbow to my body and I'm gonna try to drag him in this direction, trying to flatten him out and, and pass myself over into the omoplata position. Holding onto that elbow the entire time. Both of my feet have to face the same direction to finish the omoplata. My hand is gonna switch from here to here to control him. Feet go the same direction. I reach over for the shoulder and then I'm gonna lift my hips towards the back of his ear like I'm trying to tell him the secret and I'll get my omoplata finish there, all right? The second way that we can finish this is when I'm trying to drag him into the omoplata, he refuses to go over and he stays on his side. So I flattened out, I reached back and grabbed the elbow. I've done my step up, right? I go to pass myself over and he is just being adamant about staying on his side right here. So I'm gonna pass my foot over his head and in the triangle position. Putting my knee on the ground, I'm gonna turn my hips and I'm gonna lock that up here. I've got an arm bar right there, but I also got the top side finished triangle. I can just squeeze and get my finish right there. I've also got arm bars, wrist locks, Lots of different things I can do once I achieve this top side type triangle. I can sit on him, and this is putting a lot of pressure right here in order to finish that right there. So that's two other finishes that you can get when your opponent hugs your waist in the mounted position. Give that a try, let us know what you think.